Hey, welcome to the Sideline Report, everyone. I'm Marvin Jackson, and I am along with a couple of good friends, good buddies, uh, Mark Gray from HSRN, and also Tom Levero from ESPN 980, The Sports Fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, these guys are going to help us out here today, uh, just kind of figure out, out what's going on in the sports world. First of all, we'd like to just say congrats to the Nats. I mean, those guys are playing very well. And uh, Tom, uh, anything that you'd like to say about the Nats? Because I know you cover them a lot. Well, I would just say that uh, th this is a team that was good enough to have the best record in the major leagues this season. There's no reason not to think that they can't do what they did during a regular season in the postseason. I still feel very good about what, what, what they've got ahead of them. All right. The Redskins uh, have a lot of things going on right now. They lose a game that a lot of people thought they were going to win. I think you thought they might win, Tom. And, uh, you know, it's a tough team that they were playing, but they, there was a couple things that didn't happen. They didn't get pressure, uh, and we heard uh, Cofield talk about that. Uh, and also, uh, the quarterback was injured. And um, with Robert Griffin III getting injured, uh, we have somebody that knows all about quarterbacks on the line. And that's Joe Theismann. And uh, Joe, how you doing? Joe? Um, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Joe, how are you? Hi, hi Joe. How are you? Are you there? Good. Yes. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, we know you know everything about quarterbacks. And uh, talk about <laughs> Robert Griffin III and his progress. And uh, Mark and also Tom want to ask you a few questions about that also. Sure. I think in Robert's case, one of the things you have to understand about Robert is he is such a great competitor. And for him, every play, he tries to win on every play, whether it's a drop-back pass, whether it's a play-action pass, whether he's running with the football, he evaluates that to try and win. And the thing that he is going to learn, and I'm sure will learn because of this example, and he's the kind of a guy who doesn't make the same mistake twice. So I would be surprised if you see him put himself in harm's way again as the season goes on. And, and it's his competitive nature that almost works against him to a degree, but he'll learn to throw the ball away. He'll learn to slide. He'll learn to be able not to take the hits. And people have asked me quite often, you know, what is the importance of a quarterback? What's the most important thing that a quarterback can do? And in my opinion, you have to keep yourself available to play and practice. You need to be able to be out there every day to lead your football team. So you have to do whatever you need to do during the course of a game to make sure that you can get up and take the next step. And, and Robert learned a very valuable lesson. I think we learned a couple of things in this football game. Number one, the Redskins are going to be a 60-minute football team. Therefore, the kicking game, field goals in particular, are very, very significant to the outcome of games. And secondly, the offense is geared to, to Robert's ability to be able to make plays with his legs as well as his arms. And if he's not there, whether it's Kirk or whether it's Rex, it's a different style and type of offense. So those are things that we learned in this game. But it, this football team will fight you tooth and nail right to the end. And unfortunately, we've been in five football games, but we haven't come out on the right end of them. Joe, it seems like RG3 is reluctant to take advantage of his real athleticism. And I'm just wondering, given that you want him to play a more safe type of football, um, is it difficult to rein him in a little bit to convince him that you have certain gifts that you can use that will help the team without you being overly aggressive? Well, Mark, I, I don't think, you know, it isn't, it isn't, taking away his aggressiveness, it's learning to play safer, learning to play smarter. You, you, don't, you don't take away someone's innate gifts to be able to make plays, but you say, look, if you are running, if the sideline is there, then get out of bounds. Don't take the unnecessary hits. In this offense, he's going to get hit anyway because he is a runner and it's part of his offense. So don't create another opportunity for someone to get to you. And the other thing is, is, he will understand this. When you get near the sideline, that's when guys are really going to take shots at your knees and your head. They're not your friends. These are don't don't expect the rules. This is something that you know. I, I he and I have talked earlier about this. Don't expect the rules to protect you. Protect yourself. 
And when you get close to the sidelines, make sure you go far out of bounds because guys are going to be throwing at you, and you never know. It never. It just takes one misstep or one little bit of uncertainty, and all of a sudden you're out of the game. Um, but I think that he uses his athletic ability, and the Redskins use his athletic ability very well, especially the last couple of weeks. After we saw him run so much and get hit so much in the Cincinnati game against Tampa and Atlanta, I thought the offense morphed a little bit more into letting him throw it and, and make some decisions with his uh, with his arm as, as opposed to his leg. So, and, and we continue to forget this. And, Tom, you and I had this conversation during the preseason. We have to realize that Robert is a rookie in the National Football League. And he hasn't really dealt with any adversity yet. I mean, we've been in every game. And at the Tampa game, he makes a great play to give us an opportunity to win it. And in all likelihood, he probably would have done the same thing in this game. But it's you know it, it, we have to understand that this is a this is a growth process for a very very exceptional athlete. You know, Joe, it's hard to do that when he seems to play so composed behind the line. We do forget that he is a rookie, and he's going to make those rookie mistakes. I agree with you about that. Um, the one thing, though, and it's almost like we're going over the same ground here, but. The one thing I, I wanted to ask you is RG3's legs make his arm better. I mean, the fear of him running will make him a, a more difficult guy to defend against the pass, right? It, it does. And, and, and the reason, it, what it basically does is it aids in the pass rush. You know, I, I, what Kyle has done calling plays and the institution of their offense you know, Alfred Morris has run very well. If you run the football, you can run the boots. We saw it in, in the game with the Houston Texans against the Jets. You know, you wouldn't say that Matt Schaub and RG3 have the same athletic ability. But Matt Schaub uses the running game. They use Arian Foster. We, and when we use Alfred Morris that way and set up the opportunities to be able to throw the ball down the field and, and get him out on the edges with his legs. I think what's important is when you have someone that has those athletic skills, the ends are a little more reluctant to try and get too far upfield, which should help the tackles a little bit. The, big, the biggest burden, I think, falls on our guards and our, two, and our center because you have to be able to create a stable middle so that he has avenues to go if he needs to do it. But this football team is still finding its way a little bit, but we have the foundation of something, I believe, that can go forward and get people really excited with W's not just good football games that we lose at the end, but we're finding out that it's every element. You can't leave the defense on the field for 37 minutes. I mean, it's anybody's going to wear out. You can't miss chip shot field goals because that comes back and haunts you later on in the game. If you miss it in the first drive, it's still going to haunt you in the 12th. I mean, it's just the way the Redskins are built right now. You, you don't see them being somebody by 14, 17 points. We saw that in St. Louis. We saw it in Tampa Bay. We saw it against a very good Atlanta Falcon team. You know, that, you know coming up this week against Minnesota. Minnesota's 4-1. and one. They've got a lot of confidence. They've got a terrific runner. The offense is going to have to really do its part in this game to help our defense out. Joe, Robert, what you... I believe Robert will be back for this one. I, you know, hopefully all the tests will go well. And there really isn't anything as a – I think that's one of the things that we've come to understand. In the National Football League, you know, a concussion is a concussion. It's a little bit like for women. If you're pregnant, you're pregnant. You're not mildly <laughs> pregnant. You don't have a mild pregnancy. You are pregnant or not. In, in a National Football League, you have a concussion or you don't have a concussion. And uh, I, I think the league has done a terrific job to try and protect the players. So do you expect to see him play this week? You, you expect to see him back playing? This weekend, I would, I would, I would think that he's going to get a chance. I mean, he'll have a whole week. Uh, the, you know, the medical crew and the doctors will have an opportunity to evaluate him, and I'm sure you know they ran him through some tests today, and they'll run him through tomorrow and and see where he is. You know, he, he's comfortable enough to be able to practice on a Thursday or a Friday to be able to play with the offense, so there isn't that much modification to it, and I, I think he'll be all right. All right. Well, Joe, we appreciate you coming on and talking to us and giving us all that good information about uh, Robert Griffin III and just your, all your good uh, information about quarterbacking in the National Football League. Thanks, guys. Great being with you. Have a nice night. All right. Take care. Thanks so Take much. Take care. Bye -bye. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. 
All right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and talk more about the Redskins, uh, the game last week and the upcoming game. And we also uh, have a, a nice little feature about the NFL's Think Pink program, Breast Cancer Awareness. So we'll be right back. We are just getting started. 